So on the last video, we talked about biology or the study of life. And we talked about that life is the study of organisms or in the relationships that they have between them and their environment. And we said that these organisms include single-celled organisms and as well as all the other types of life. But that life comes from other life and that ultimately started from such a single-celled organism and changed through a process called evolution. That this has been going on for over 3.3 billion years and by now millions of species have existed and exist still. A new species, old species, some are still around, some are gone forever, but millions of species existed and millions of species still exist and they are everywhere around the world. But what does it mean to be alive? What do you characterize as a living thing? What are the things that every single living thing does? You should pause this video now and try to think before you continue, what do you think are the seven characteristics that every single life form must have in order to be considered a life form? I'll give you some time. No, really, pause the video and think about it and write it down. Seven things. Okay. You should, you should really pause the video until you're ready because I'm about to give the answer out and you don't want the answer. You have to think about it first. Okay, so hopefully you paused the video and thought about some of the things that their life is going to uh, have. Maybe you said oxygen. Every life must breathe, but... While it's true that life needs uh, chemicals from the environment, it's not necessarily oxygen. In fact, some life has to avoid it, otherwise they'll die. A lot of life on the earth lives away from oxygen. You may have said movement, but a lot of the things in life do not move, so that also doesn't qualify. Likewise, a lot of little things which people say are characteristics of life which do not count. But these are the seven things that every single life form does. Every life form responds to the environment. Uh, it has to adapt to environmental changes, so therefore uh, seek food, seek shelter. Uh, in this case, the plant's about to eat that fly. Every life form, the part of life, is having evolutionary adaptations, and as a population, life changes over time or across generations, so life evolves. All, every life must uh, regulate itself, maintain a stable internal environment, and that's what, every life must also maintain order, and it has order both the ecosystem level, or population level, or even an organism level, or even below that, as simple as possible, a cell. A characteristic of order that every life has. You could say that's actually a characteristic of life in itself, having cells. But that's only an aspect of order that's seen at every single level of organization that you would analyze life at. Life maintains order. Life also grows and develops. It starts a certain way, but it changes over time. Even single-cell organisms will become bigger cells before they're done with their life cycle. And most organisms also go through periods of change where they become sometimes completely different from the way they were when they first started their lives. And life also requires energy to do all of this. Therefore, it needs to hunt and use this energy. And life also reproduces to pass on and continue to next generations, which means life must have some sort of genetic material to pass on the information from a parent to the children, and that's DNA, which arguably is the eighth characteristic of life, which is not included in destroying, but I do not include it because it's only basically an aspect of reproduction or an order, depending on which way you look at it. But regardless, it's all really one thing. But every single life form will have these seven things in it. It will try to maintain order, it will evolve over time as a, as a population, respond to the environment, reproduce, grow and develop, use energy, and regulate. And I use the following mnemonic to remember that, we Roger. Roger some dude that asks you uh, what it means to be alive, and you send him an re email reply, so you re Roger, to say that you, Roger means to understand, you know, in a, in a, oh, Roger that, you know, in military language so re roger so re roger is r for re response e for evolution r for regulation o for order g for growing development e for energy and r for reproduction and remember that dna is an aspect of reproduction and that order you also talking about having cells there as uh, as, that, as part of that okay great on the next video we're going to start talking about each one of these characteristics video by video i'll see you guys then